Wahala Day, tension full Asorok as senators backs appeal court's decision, demands Namdekanu's immediate release. Why won't they support Namdekanu's release when the, the refusal to release him is almost causing division in Nigeria? You see, Buhari's level of reasoning is very, very shallow. And that is what a lot of his supporters are failing to understand. How can President Mo Buhari, you know, be disputing the decision of the law? Namdekanu was released according to the law, according to the decision of the law. He was released according to the decision of the law. It is the law that released him and not uh, the court. The court have taken record of all the hearings. You know, they have scrutinized it. They have sifted sift the information and they have seen now the kind of worthy of living. So what else? So what else? Let's call the spade a spade and let this young man go. So the Senate know what they are doing. They know what they are doing. I greet you, my dear listeners in the house. The pleasure of meeting you still on this very channel. Yes, um, this is the fact that has just been revealed to us right now in our studio. Well, if President Mumu Bwari actually feels that he knows better, then he should carry on with what uh, what he thinks. Then let's see who is going to wear the right cap. All right, my dear people, let us quickly check the content and get it correctly. This is Evening News. In compliance with an appeal court judgment, senators from the Southeast Caucus have demanded Namdi Kanu's release. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP. The caucus, which consists of 11 senators, reportedly made the decision in a statement released and made available to newsmen in Abuja on Thursday. The IPOP leader was cleared and released last week by the appeal court of all accusations of terrorism brought against him by the federal government. Kanu, who was detained again in Kenya, in June 2021 is still being held by the Department of State Services according to Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice Abubakar Malami who stated that Kanu had simply been cleared not acquitted of all charges. The Senate caucus urged President Muhammad Buhari to uphold the promise he had previously made to the Igbos and release Kanu after the administration refused to do what the appeal court had directed. We should be aware of our variety and the advantages it gives us as a nation. Showing magnanimity and statesmanship at this time is appropriate. The appeal court has given the government the freedom to live up to its commitment to uphold Nigerian unity and appreciation for its diversity. In light of this, we as a caucus and stakeholders in the Nigerian project made an appeal to Mr. President to keep the commitment he made to a group of Igbo land elders some time ago and free Kanu, particularly now that the appeal court has lifted its burden of proof through that decision. The caucus declared that filling an appeal would ultimately nullify the general's gesture. Senators Chukuka Utazi, Minority Whip, Oji Uzokalu, Majority Whip, Enyinaya Abaribe, Uche Ewinife, Sam Egu, Stella Odua, and Obina Ogba, as well as Senator T.A. Oji, signed the statement. Senators Chi Maroke Namani, Onye Wuchi, Ezenwa, Michael Nachi, Rochas Okorocha, Frank Ibezim, and Patrick Ifani Oba are among the others. <laughs> Barry have no choice though. He must he must concur. 
he must concur to the release of the IPOP leader. He has no choice than to concur. He has no choice than to dance to the tune. You understand? Okay? Um, you see, my people, these senators that I've just spoken right now, they know what they are doing. They know what they have they just said. They are little monkeys. They know uh, uh, what this is going to cause if the IPOP leader is not given a quick release. Do you understand? Uh, they, are, they are wiser than the so-called governors of the Southeast. Because these governors, I tell you, they are just, you know, they are just uh, uh, after themselves. They are not after the people. They are not after Nigeria. They don't know what the continuous detention of the IPOP leader is going to cost to this country. Division is almost is almost knocking at the door, of which we don't know. Of which we don't know. You see that? And it's very crazy. Very, very crazy. All right. Let's hear you, my dear people, and let's know what your take and what's your opinion on all that has just been taken note of. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.